Over the course of my comments on this concert, talking about the Shostakovich Symphony we're going to be performing and the Mahler songs that are on the first half of the program, I've talked a lot about the other individuals who are involved in these performances. And when I come to this incredible new piece that we're going to premiere by Jonathan Schwabe, I kind of return to the same theme, you know, that, um, that what makes this so special is really the relationship that, that I have with John and that the orchestra has with him. Um, it's really one of the things actually that makes it so special to be doing new music because unlike some of the other music we do, that's by composers who are now deceased. When we commission new works or do recent pieces that are already um, out in the repertoire, we have a chance to talk to the composers, get to know them. And a lot of these projects actually end up, um, being a little bit more intense than just a a normal artistic exchange. You know, there's a lot of back and forth about what we're looking for, a lot of questions. How do you want to do this? What do you like with this? And all of that adds up to a really, you know, a special kind of relationship that develops over the course of, you know, working on a new piece from where the commission starts and the ideas behind it all the way to when you see a final work. So recently I had the what is always an incredibly exciting experience of seeing a new score for the first time. And this is the score of John Schwabe's I became a traveler in my dream. And like the other two pieces on the program, I'll be talking a little bit more about um, the inspiration of this piece with John at the pre-concert talk. And he'll I'm sure share a few comments from the stage. Um, It's, it's um, just so exciting to be able to have that input from him. And I think our audience is going to love that too. Um, but this score is, was literally delivered to us in January. So we've been looking at it for, you know, just over a month as we get ready to give it its first ever performance. And, you know, one of the things that makes it special is not just the fact that we have a new piece. It's for full orchestra. It's got this wonderful rhythmic quality and, and John's really, you know, kind of a master of rhythm. And if you've heard him play jazz, you're not surprised to hear that. Um, but his music also has this wonderful lyricism um, mixed into it as well. And this piece is no exception. So all of that, uh, you know, again, you'll be able to experience at the concert, but it's kind of coming back to this relationship after working together over the years um, that makes this opportunity to premiere this big new piece by John. So wonderful. And he and I have worked on, um, on stuff at the orchestra. He's done arrangements of, of pop music. Um, we actually consulted and, and got him involved in something with Brandy Carlisle, with whom I work um, both at the symphony and also Brandy and I tour all over the world. And so John was um, in on one of those projects too. And so it really makes this, this new piece um, feel like an incredible culmination. And I hope John shares that feeling too, but he'll definitely tell you about it when you hear from him before the concert. <laughs> 